Welcome to adding a direct link to a Salesforce approval email. In this video, we'll discuss how to add a direct link to the approval. Adding a direct link to the approval can be added to a template and it will use one of the API references, approval request.external URL or approval request.internal URL. I wasn't able to find the difference between the two online, so I don't have a technical explanation. If you know it, please add it to the comments of this video. It must be used in the template that it's configured in the approval assignment email template of the email approval process, otherwise it won't work. And if using the link, the user must be logged into Salesforce or RemedyForce in the browser the email client opens uh, when a URL is clicked. Let's look at how this works. You go into Salesforce into your approval process, uh, create workflow, and approvals, approval processes. I have one set up for the incident category equals software approval assignment email template right here. You must specify the template that you're going to modify to put the leak in it. It has to be uh, in here. Otherwise it won't work. So since I've already got it configured, I'll go ahead and open the template so you can see what it looks like. I'm just using a plain text template in this one and I've pasted external and internal just so it shows up properly in my email uh, but you would click edit and then uh, paste in the field uh, wherever you want it. Okay once that's done go into the record you want to approve in this case the records 501 will do actions submit for approval and once the record is submitted for approval in a couple of minutes you'll get an email and here's the email I received now, if you remember on the slide, it said you must be logged into the browser. Well, the default browser my email opens when I click a link is Internet Explorer. And since I'm not logged into Internet Explorer in Salesforce or Riveny Force, I'm prompted for credentials. If I log in, I'll be taken directly to the approval. So now that I'm logged in, if I were to click the link again, it would take me directly to it without logging in. Or if you're already logged into a different browser you can right click and copy and I'm logged into Chrome. I do my testing in Chrome. I can just paste the URL in here and it'll take me directly to the approval and I can approve it and go from there. This concludes adding a direct link to a Salesforce approval email template.